Good morning. Good morning. I'm Mary. I'm Linda. We're Pinky Mouse Sisters in the Kitchen, and look who we got with us this morning. My sweet sister. Thank you, Mary. <laughs> we got her. She did not want to miss no video, so she is on Good today. Back. Yes. And so, um, anyway, um, we're going to be making um, a really simple pie, which I, I think I say that every time, but it really is simple. It's called... Um, lemon macaroon pie it's basically a coconut pie but it's done a little bit different so we're going to get right into it um and get it in the oven because it has to bake 35 minutes i preheated my oven to 350 and so um then we'll have time to maybe take some questions and we'll sit down and visit with you while the cake is baking i didn't make two because i am going out of town this week so i um i just i'm making one so, um, all right, let's see. Um, first of all, we're going to put um, our uh, biscuit. This is biscuit, three-fourths a cup of biscuit. We just put all these ingredients in there together. I did zest two lemons ahead of time. And I, Linda, if you'll hand her a paper plate, um, I'll let Linda can cut these, if you don't mind, Linda. Okay. I've already zested the two lemons, and it calls for two teaspoons, but basically, when you zest two lemons, that's basically what you get. Yes. Just cut in half. We're just going to use the juice. Yeah. So I'm just putting it all in there together. No, no, um, any, no certain way. Just, uh, and I did the, I grated this lemon zest ahead of time so that, um, uh, we could get it in the oven. Did you have a zest around, or were you going to do it uh, in the pan? No, I'm just going to, um, you're talking about to do the yeah. oven. I, I'm just going to zest them into this one. I mean, they're squeezing into this. Okay. Because I have a zest, I have one. I, I can probably do it by hand. Oh, is that going to be too hard on you to do No, it's, okay. in case y'all wonder why I'm not talking much, it's my, my muscles Perch, in my yeah. face. I've got this if you want to squeeze them in it. And I'm going to save some time to talk after a while. So, right. Okay. Thank you, Mary. All right. Now, two eggs. Two whole eggs. Oops, I got a shell in there. Um, and we just feed all this together. Two tablespoons of softened butter. I'm sorry. Well, good. I'll do that. I, I didn't think about that. Might be hard for you to bear down. I can do it. It's not my arms that's hurt. Well, I know it, but any any time you have any kind of sore, especially on your face, anything you do is going to. Um, that's enough, Linda, because I only need two tablespoons. Let me um, let me make sure, but I think I'm pretty sure I'm right. Yeah. All I need is two tablespoons, and that's way more than two tablespoons. First of all, I'm going to tie it. And I'm using impure sugar, a half a cup of impure sugar. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, and stir this up. Oh, I need a cup of milk. Cup of, um, I'm using 2%. You're not going to strain this again, are you? Just I don't think so. It's not going to seep in. So I use one cup of milk. And I use a teaspoon of vanilla. Let's see what here it is. And that um, uh, juice, Linda. I need two tablespoons. Two How many cups of milk did you say? One, one cup of milk. One cup of milk, half a cup of sugar, two eggs, two tablespoons of butter. Thank you. And then I'm just going to this cup, one cup of milk. I told you it's easy. All you do now is just. Beating it with a whisk. Oops. <laughs> I don't think my butter was quite soft enough. I'm going to get a spoon and. I didn't lay that quite small. So, it feels weird not talking. 
Yeah, well, you don't have to talk. You shouldn't even be here. You should be at home resting. I don't know people's going to get on. But you wait and see like, your followers don't get on to like, you. <laughs> We're trying to come out today. But my sister, she's, I guess we kind of like her. Don't go ahead. <laughs> I know you made me. Well, you, I guess you didn't make me, but you didn't want me getting getting out too soon. But I'm gonna beat this well. Get it stirred up good. I will tell you. Uh, I'm sorry, Linda. Um, I see little chunks of butter. It'll it'll melt. It'll, it'll melt. Should have had it out a little bit longer, but anyway, your pan. Uh, if you're using the stone pepper chef stoneware, uh, I wouldn't uh, spray with with the um, aerosol spray of oil because it leaves a sticky residue on the stone. On the stone. So what I did is I used um, a pastry, not a pastry, yeah, a pastry. Uh, Based in brush, couldn't even think of it. Based in brush to put uh, all, um, oil, not olive oil, vegetable oil, in my pan. Don't use a paper towel to put oil in these stone pans because that paper towel will rub off. Oh, yeah. It'll rub off on your bones. So use a pastry brush, basting brush. I'm trying to get it right. All right. This is a crustless pie. This is a crustless pie. That that biscuit in it. I did. Uh, it's back, sure. Yeah. I started this out, but I thought, no, I'll. Uh, it's so close right there. And since this is liquid and not real thick, um, I didn't get use of a hose. Thank you, Linda. And now. You put a, a cup of coconut. This is a deep dish pie pan, but you gotta leave room for it to rise. If you don't use biscuit, you can make your own biscuit. Have you ever done that? I haven't, but I know there's a recipe for master mix in our cookbook. Yeah. Um, so you just add the ingredients. What, what it is, if you don't have biscuit, you use flour, shortening, baking powders, and salt. Okay. But you use very little. Uh, um, like if you're using um, for this recipe, I wouldn't use over two tablespoons of shortening for a cup of, of, of the. Um, okay. Right All right, and that's coconut, and it will rise up some. Oh, I was gonna get a pan. I don't think it's gonna rise over though because it's not. This is a deep dish pie pan. Yeah. If you'll open it for me, please. Now we will just sit down and visit with y'all a little bit. I'll throw this in the trash. Thank you. Uh, and if you have any questions, we'll try to um, get to them if we possibly can. I'm checking this to make sure I got everything in there. I did. <laughs> now that I got it in the oven. <laughs> uh, Linda, uh, you got out. I haven't been out yet this morning. Uh, how's the weather? Is it supposed to be really hot today? Well, I think we got a little. Are you talking to me or Linda? Yes, you. I think we got a little bit of break in the tents. We may have, it may reach 100 today, but. Hopefully, we're going to see it go down over the next few days. We would also like to tell y'all, uh, the July birthdays are, um, you can now post them if you have a July birthday on Pinky Mouse phone, 903-235-4804. Text your name, your address, and the day, not date, the day of your birthday in July. Um, because... There has been a few times that um, we got you. You posted your birthday. You didn't put your name or your address, and we 
we don't know how to contact you. So we need some way to contact you. So please put that, oh yeah, we need the phone number too. We need the phone number um, for you so we can, uh, if we can't, something happens, well, we can call you. But you know what, if we have the address, we wouldn't have to have, we wouldn't have the phone. So we don't have to have your phone, just your address, because that would be mailing it to you. But it's going to be, we're doing the drawing next Tuesday, right? Yes. Which is second. August the second. August the second, we'll be doing the drawing for the birthday gift. All right, Linda. I don't so, want you to talk um, more than you have to, but uh, what Mary was talking about, the um, when you send us um, a direct message, I think somebody calls them DMs. Um, I put an automated message on there the other day when I was got up early and I was just in the fooling around on the computer so it's got that information on there okay. it's also got on there about where to purchase cookbooks and aprons and mama's book um you know how many muscles it takes to talk <laughs> well I, I can talk i can talk for you but i know you want to but um anyway whenever you call and we don't answer it goes to an automated message and that gives you some information, some new information. If there's something that's coming up, we put it on that voicemail. So you will know what to do and on these situations about the birthday drawing. And what else did you put on there? Um, I, we're to order on merchandise and, and it's it's the message uh, yes. that you get when you when you send us a direct message. Yes. So read that, please, yes. because several people uh, we've answered back that the the answer to their questions is in that automated yeah. message. And on the website, uh, little Linda has got a frequently asked questions section on our website. So if you go to pinkandmallskitchen.com, scroll all the way down to the bottom, it's got FAQ. If you hit that, that's going to tell you a little bit about some things to do also, and it might answer some of your questions. So uh, those are two ways that you can get some information that you've been wanting. Several and people have asked if you could repeat the phone number, please. The phone number is 903-235-4804. That is correct, isn't it? <laughs> Every time I want to say 234, but it's not. It's 235-4804. And uh, that's where you text your birthday. And um, then uh, we're going to be doing two drawings tomorrow at your house, right? And that is going to be um, the post, the ones that send in a picture of yourself with one of the, uh, our products. Um, we've got a list of all of those, and we will draw from that, and we'll be announcing the winner tomorrow. We want to thank you, all of you who have have uh, posted on your Facebook our page and that has helped us tremendously and we appreciate that yes. so remember how you do that is you post on your Facebook Pinky Moss ca um, cakes cookies and candy and whenever you when you post when you type in Pinky Moss cakes cookies and candy you're going to get a list of Pinky Moss cakes cookies and candies pages and there's several others that have the same name that they copied from us. So, but you have to look to see the one that's got 153K. It used to be 152K, now it's 153K. That's the one that when you touch that on your phone or computer, it will send people to our the correct page. All right, so thank y'all for doing that. And we will be announcing a winner tomorrow, and we will also be announcing a winner tomorrow for the ones that uh, posted their picture with one of our products. So I think there's one or two that we've got yet to post on our page that we it's just been kind of an oversight um, because we've been so busy. But anyway, your name will still be in the drawing because we, we will compare our our because some of them sent it to you, some of them sent it to me, some of them sent it to Pink Miles. And so we will compare all that and um, and pick a winner of the ones who sent a picture uh, to us. 
and uh, I think we really didn't make that clear to begin with. We was wanting it on their page. <laughs> we was wanting the picture of y'all with your product on your Facebook page with Pinky Malls Cakes, Cookies, and Candy. But, some but that's okay. Know how to do it. So and we yes, told y'all yes, that's us, right. So, so we, uh, we say things and then we realize some of it is a little difficult. So we may change it a little bit, but we still, we still know what, what, where to find it and everything. So, and Linda, I believe we, we got a gift yesterday yeah. in the mail. Okay. Uh, and this was um, to I Linda and Mary. That sweet. Us. She sent us a card. Both of us. And, and then Linda got hers. Oh, and so she sent us both one of these. Yeah. Isn't, Isn't sweet? this sweet? This is from my birthday party. She uh, she took that um, picture. It was from um, uh, Sherry Ann. Bowen. And her daughter. And her, uh, was Sherry Ann, yeah, that's right, and her daughter. And I can't remember her name, her daughter's name. Can you, Larry something, Larry, uh, uh, it's a combination of her mother and daddy. Right, right. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> thank you so much, Sherry Ann, and, uh, uh, for this nice, uh, picture with, the uh, with us, uh, at Linda's birthday party. That was really sweet. That was very sweet. And they, they attended your birthday yes, party. They did. So, uh, and then a nice card, and I'll, I'll, read, I'll open that and read that later, but that was sweet. Thank you very much. Um, so and in case y'all don't know, this is not dirt on my chin, y'all. This is a bruise. I couldn't put, get Band-Aids on these scars because the Band-Aids that I have are not, not, they're not like they have at the, at the Wallace Dermatology, so they would either touch my eye or cover half of my lip. So I just opted to do this And your lip, is, yeah. Your lip and, um, and jaw is still swollen pretty bad. Oh my um, goodness, my lip was... So she's got from here to there, down to there. Yeah. And that um, bruise is just from them pulling the skin yeah. up. Yeah. The whole whole bottom part of my skin on my lip came off yesterday because yeah. it had been swollen so yeah. much. Yeah. Well, I want to thank, and, I, and Linda does too, all of you people who have sent us personal pictures of either yourself or some of your family members or friends that's had some similar situations yeah. on, for skin cancer and showed us the scars that they that y'all had and the results afterwards. It was encouraging to me so yeah, much and to Linda too uh, because we know that this is just a process. And once this goes through, then she's going to have a beautiful skin again. And she doesn't have to worry so much about what it's going to look like because it's just a process. But I know it does something to you mentally. I know it does besides the pain. And But uh, we're going to get through it. We're going to get through it. Did you set the timer? I did not set the timer. And we probably talked, what, 10 minutes maybe or that long? Maybe 8 or 10 minutes. Okay. So there's a lot I want to say, but I'm, I'm not going to talk a whole lot, but um, I want to thank, um, um, first of all, the Lord for helping me through this. I, I'm not a wimp, y'all. I know what pain is, and I've suffered. This is the fourth Mose I've had, but this one was just different. And if you've never had something cut on the side of your face, it is not something that you get over overnight. Um, so I want to thank the Lord. I want to thank my sister for everything that she did and has continued to do. It worries me when she's working so hard, but thank you for doing that, Mary. And you're for bringing welcome. the potato soup and uh, cornbread. I ate the rest of it. Sunday. Did you? It was so good. It was so good. And when I talked to you that morning, you said you was trying to eat a sandwich. I said, you need some tater soup. And I, I know he, he was trying so hard. I did. I know. He, he asked me, he said, you think you could eat a bacon and tomato? I had got some tomatoes from the fruit stand. And I said, Mike, I just don't think I can. He said, well, I've already fixed you one. <laughs> he does try so hard to, you try to, to eat you. a yeah. bacon and tomato I know, sandwich when I you can't even open your mouth. <laughs> Well, I felt so bad, but that potato soup, I could eat that, and yeah. it was really, really It good. did smell good. Um, I it just was delicious. And I want to thank uh, little Linda for the beautiful flowers and the 
what she put in there. And when I read it, it just <laughs> tears just rolled down my eyes. Uh, Jennifer Asker sent uh, a beautiful um, fresh flowers. Was they were gorgeous. Joyce Oates, Linda Joyce Oates, uh, beautiful roses. And I got, I don't know how many cards I got. Y'all see them tomorrow, but I got several cards. Um, and I'm not going to try to remember because I can't right now. But um, thank you all for the cards, for all the prayers. I know several people have called and I could not take your call. I literally just could not. Talk. Well, that's I, understandable. I my mouth today. That's understandable, Linda. You shouldn't even feel bad about it. Not at all. I've got real small lips. We both yes, do. We, yes, Daddy had yes. small lips. And literally, I, could, I couldn't even get the toothbrush in my mouth. That's how much my lips swollen. Yeah. But um, anyway, I don't want this to all be about this. But um, but you've got the place right there. Turn your head. Yeah. That's the spot where she's having another one re uh, removed August the 1st. Which is Monday. So say a prayer for her for that. And they're supposed to take the stitches out. And they're supposed to scrape the other one on the side of my nose. I don't know how they're going to do all this at one time. But, they um, going to do the one on, scrape it on your nose the same said. time that they that's do this? That's what they said. So we'll and and take the stitches out, all that on the same day. That's what they said. So I oh, may be, fixed to be tied when I get out of there Monday. I don't know. Well, I'm going out of town, but I'll be back Sunday. Well, so you I'll don't be have there. to come. Well, I, no, I'm I'm coming back Sunday, so I'll be back Sunday. Um, and Mike, Mike is he tried so hard to make sure that I was comfortable. He kept bringing me ice packs, and I could only keep ice on it no more than ten minutes an hour. Mm -hmm. But he would change my ice packs out, and um, I fell asleep sitting in the recliner Thursday night, and I woke up, it was 1.30, he didn't even wake me up, because I guess he felt like I was more comfortable sitting yeah. up than in yeah. bed. Yeah, too, um, if he got woken up, he might yeah. not have been able to go back to sleep. So, um, anyway, thank you all from, for messages from all over, from across the seas, from uh, all over the United States, for everybody, I appreciate it so much. So you can see where the mic was, but there it is. <laughs> um, okay, we have anything funny to tell? Oh, goodness. You're talking about, I can't laugh. I know, I don't want to make you laugh either, Linda. Uh, Linda's always the one that keeps us cheery and happy. Little Linda, you got something <laughs> to add to this, to make uh, it there was, there was a post, I'm Please, sorry, did okay. you have something to no. say? I didn't even <laughs> let you answer. There was a post, uh, and hi Carla, she's on the other yes. end. Yes. Um, always there helping get rid of these people we don't want on here. But um, on the 25th, that was the day of Sister Jean's funeral last year, and so a memory popped up on my news feed uh, that I had written last year on the 25th, and I uh, I can't laugh, but I had left the uh, left the church for the funeral, and this was I had to be at the church at two because um, I had to get there early before everybody else did because I wanted you know put the handkerchief in Sister Jean's mm -hmm. hands and uh, before everybody got there. So I had only eaten breakfast that morning, and I was so hungry when I got out of that funeral. That funeral was like three and a half hours long, and it was, we knew it was going to be bad weather, but it held off until um, I was just getting off the, Pearl, the exit on Pearson Road on I-20 there in Pearl, and I mean the bottom fell out. You know how there's two lanes mm -hmm. to turn mm -hmm. to go into where we go to the hotel? Mm -hmm. And I didn't even know if I was in a lane. I was a nervous wreck. I could not even see where I was at on the road. And I finally turned, just praying nobody would hit me. And I pulled in McDonald's. I was just starving. I was so hungry. And I went through the drive-thru and I ordered a Chick-fil-A. <laughs> well, that's what she was wanting was Chick-fil-A, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. And she said, excuse me. And I said, I want a Chick-fil-A meal. And she said, we don't have Chick-fil-A. And I said, well, yes, you do. <laughs> She said, ma'am, you're not at Chick-fil-A, you're at McDonald's. And she don't like that McDonald's. So I ordered, a, I ordered a fish filet meal. I changed it real quick. But anyway, that was kind of funny yesterday. I didn't feel like laughing, but it was still funny. 
Yeah, and it's and it was uh, hard on Linda having all this done, and with all that memory in her mind about Sister Jean, because when Linda loves somebody, she loves 110%. I mean, she loves you. You've got a friend. If you ever get a, have Linda as a friend, you've got a friend. And Sister Jean was, um, she, matter of fact, Sister Jean is a reason that we moved to Mississippi was because uh, she stayed in contact with her for years after they had helped her revival for us. So Linda loves Sister Jean almost like a second mother. She just, uh, she loves Sister Jean dearly. So she was, she was kind of going through that mental um, uh, memory of her uh, passing away a year ago last week and then having this surgery. It was kind of like a double whammy to her. And so that didn't help anything. And, yeah. So, um, but she got through it. She got through it, and and she's on the mend. And we're gonna keep on loving and petting and praying for. <laughs> I am, I am, um, like Mary said. I take friendship very, very seriously, um, and I do not like people making over me. And and you can read in Mama's book. She told about it. I know. I, I know you don't. When I was a baby. I didn't want to be fretted over. Yeah, I, I just because I I've always been. But you deserve it. Well, you do that. You do everybody else. I know, but it's <laughs> it's. I'm not comfortable. You know, I'd rather be doing just like you. I'd rather be doing for somebody than somebody doing for me. But I do really sincerely, sincerely appreciate it. Mike read the cards this morning when I was getting ready. He said, Linda, these are the sweetest cards. They just it just touched his yeah, heart. Yeah, we and have some of the best followers. We, we have. Do. We have. It's just. It's so encouraging. It is so encouraging to know that we've got so many people out there praying. I talked to a lady last night. It's Linda Joyce for quite a okay. while, and um, and she said that she uh, her son carried her out to eat Sunday. I hope Linda that I, Joyce, I'm telling this correctly, but she was out to eat uh, Sunday, and. Um, and she, um, and I see, I'm, I'm, I may be telling part wrong. Uh, she said that um, she was, I think she was telling telling uh, James to, um, when they prayed, to pray, when they were praying for their food, to pray for Linda. And uh, she overheard these other ladies, and they was praying for their food. And she turned around and told them that when they prayed to pray for her good friend, <laughs> Linda. <laughs> so she has a cooking show on uh, on Facebook, and she needs your prayers right now. And that was just some, another group of people in the restaurant. And she said, who is your friend? And she told her, she said, oh, we watch them all the time. <laughs> so um, Linda Joyce actually called me the night before my surgery and prayed with me. Did she? Phone. Yeah, she told Remind me. Remind yeah. me of something that our pastor had done right, in the right, past, right. so it was it was very sweet, and yeah. it's 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 you know you you have givers and you have takers in life, and we were raised to give, and it's it's such a good feeling when we can do that, mm -hmm. and it's it's just really humbling to be on the other end of it when people right. are encouraging and sending you notes and messages, and really. I mean, it takes a lot of time to do this. It does. You know? It absolutely I've does. I've always said all my life that it costs to be a friend. And it's yeah. not necessarily money. It's time, time. that you invest mm -hmm. in it. And Linda, you know, uh, uh, and not everybody has a postage stamp. No. Not everybody has a stamp when you get ready to send a card or something. You need to clean My this. nose is driving me and nuts. No, I'll get no, your clean it's just, it's itching. Do you need it's, to clean it? Thank you. It's just, I hate touching my face, and I've done really good not touching it, but I'm not used to having this mask on. My eyes are watering, and, and my nose is running, and um, it's hard to, it's hard to even. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, well, um, you know, when you go through a little, uh, any kind of situation that's out of the norm, and, and, uh, painful and all that, it makes you appreciate 
your body and the and the Lord and all your friends. It just I think that's part of life, you know. Yeah. God carries us through these valleys, so we can appreciate the mountain top, you know. So um, I just uh, it's not easy when you're going through valleys, but um, it sure does make you appreciate it whenever. Um, you um, go through it. It makes us stronger. And uh, I think somebody said one time it it's, uh, helps your character um, to, uh, you know what that is? It's one of those little baby I know, sugar I ants. I had, I had the man to come out and spray for those little ants. And they're they're about all gone, but I mean, they are the tiniest. They are very little. I think I've little ever thing. seen so tiny and that's what I said this is what I'm talking about when he came out just little bitty and I said what are those things because I didn't think they was even ants and he said that's little baby sugar ants but I may have to call him back because I'm seeing a few here and there um, again well, uh, Mary are we doing the back to school the first week in August are we doing the back to school I think I did put that on the calendar so that's you know so that's next, that's next week, week. So we're going to be doing some recipes, maybe for the kids, maybe for the lunch yeah. box, so boxes or we, something. We want you to, um, if your kids and grandkids are still at home, or you are, you might have them at your house. I know Michelle keeps hers uh, on, yeah. And, yeah. and that was another thing, y'all. This just brings tears to my eyes. Her little grandbabies were praying for me uh, the other night. Well, so they said they wanted sweet. to pray for Pete uh, and Mall. I that thought was that so was the sweetest thing. That's so sweet. Um, but um, we're going to be doing some really cute stuff. So um, I asked Carla last night, when does Bradley start back to school? And she said it's about two or three weeks. So um, I just thought it would be fun if they can watch us because we're going to be doing something okay. really cute. Yeah, you've got some good um, ideas. And um, we may even make an announcement beforehand to, okay. to tell to, y'all, to remind y'all. Um, it's some. I, it's some things that I've never done before and I yeah. just think they would just yeah. be adorable. Well, she's, Linda's so good at at decorations and, and fun stuff. You're just really good at that. I'm not so much as you oh, are, yeah, but you uh, are Linda's got some good ideas. I have some kid recipes and we are going to do some uh, kid recipes uh, yeah. next and, week. Um, uh, and this is something that, um, especially the one that I'm thinking about, and I'm not going to tell you what it is, but it is really cute. Um, you could gear this toward a Sunday school class mm -hmm, party. Mm -hmm. You could gear it toward a kid's birthday party or toward the back to school. Right. Uh, which um, I can't wait to do it. I think it's going to be so cute and I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to do this next week and not have to um, not have to be have half of my face bandaged up again. Well, maybe I won't. Maybe not. We hope not. Anyway, you know, we encourage people all the time to get with their kids and and yeah. uh, and cook in the kitchen. And lots of you have sent us pictures of you, of your yeah. children or grandkids cooking in with the kitchen. With their apron zone. Yeah. And uh, my little uh, my granddaughter's uh, son, um, uh, which is my great grandson, he's a little artistic, but he loves to cook. Aaron. 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 He loves to cook, and. Uh, he got him a little, he got him a little, he started him a little page on Facebook. No, why hasn't he got on the Pinky Mouse apron? I don't, we got to get him a Pinky Mouse apron. I'll need to take him one. But he's he's in the kitchen cooking, and it's the cutest thing. Yeah. And, he, and while he's cooking, he says, can I see the comments whenever I get through them? <laughs> it was so cute. <laughs> oh, that was funny. I watched, I watched him do that. And Ethan was kind of in the background yeah, helping him and yeah, showing. Yeah. It was real cute. And you got the adoption ceremony. Yes, a Friday. Uh, I'm I'm attending an adoption uh, ceremony in Oklahoma. It's Shelley's one of her daughters. She's adopting. She it was a foster child, and she's had for about two years. I thought at, under the foster uh, system, and um, but she's adopting her Friday. She's already adopted one foster child, but. And she didn't actually have the one that she just that she's already adopted as long. But Jane. the reason, one reason, is because it was complications in you know how it is paperwork and stuff with Jake with the uh, younger one. And um, but anyway, and I'm so thrilled for her. Jaden has just I wasn't going to say her name. Well, I already said it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know if it's, but anyway, 
She uh, she's changed so much. Uh, Shelly and her husband Chase has done a wonderful job, and you know they're still they're still learning, but they have they have helped those two girls so very much. These kids were not raised in a home like normal kids are raised in, and and they're you know they may not dress like what we're used to seeing kids dress. But you have to realize that these girls all they know. have come a long, long way. And, and when you get foster kids, you just cannot just overnight change them, especially when they're teenagers. You just can't overnight say, you're not going to do that anymore. You, know, you have to live the life in front of them and show them and direct them for them to be able to How follow. How foster homes have um, That oldest one that, that they adopted, she's, she's 18 now. Uh, she adopted her either right before her 18th I birthday. I think it's right before her 18th birthday. She had been in 82 foster homes in her life. She even um, just, she was just used to making her own living. I mean, she literally worked. When Shelly and them got her, she got her a job immediately, and she never missed lit. I mean, constantly working, just constantly working because she felt like she had to to make a living, and she saved her money, and she got her a car, and um, anyway, she's just, um, but you know, um, you know, when they're conversation and everything with both of them, it's like they're, they're kind of going back to their childhood now. They're starting to a lie they and have. enjoy what they didn't have yeah. as a child. And it just broke my heart, you know, whenever um, uh, one of them said something about that it seemed a little immature for their age or something that they like. And I said, that child never had that as a child. Mm -hmm. So now they're going back and, and trying to enjoy that part that they didn't ever have as a they child. They feel safe. They feel, but they feel safe with them. Yeah. Yeah. And it's not easy. It's, they, didn't, they didn't just get the perfect child. <laughs> Chase and, and Shelly has gone through some pretty, pretty tough situations, but they, but it, they proved to them that they, they're not going to give them up just because they might have done something they didn't approve of. They stuck with them and said, we are here for you from now on. I think and that's, that's what makes a difference. something that kids do because they're so used to people kicking them out. back or kicking mm -hmm. them out. So but they, they, that's what they were expecting. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah, that was. But it didn't happen. It didn't happen. And I um, shout out to Willow Tree in Jefferson, one of our local shops there. Um, Paul and the ladies there are always so nice to me and I didn't feel like going in the store and looking for something so I looked online and gave her a list of something in, or, in the order that I wanted them mm -hmm. and then she sent me pictures back and uh, then she gift wrapped it and we went over and picked it up. That's good. So That's good. Uh, it's nice to have a place right. local that you can do that right. but you can actually right. see something. That's right. Well, I got her something to remember that day by, and it's a little, it's a almost, um, it's like a little oval, flat silver piece, and it says, it's a necklace, and it says, best day ever, and I took it and had it engraved on the back, the date that she's going to be adopted, so that's something she can keep uh, forever uh, for the day that she was adopted. I think she'll enjoy that. I think she will. When she was here last, mm -hmm. she was saying something about she always runs up to you and hugs your neck. She loves to be loved. And, uh, and she was saying something about she wasn't officially a Thompson yet. I know. So I you know, know that was just yes. something that she was looking so She's forward to. She's looking so forward to it. Yeah. She is. And I'm so proud of her. Um, I can remember sitting on the porch the first visit that she came to see us. Um, we sat on the front porch and she had the saddest eyes. She was just so sad. And you know, and now it's a difference in her yeah, eyes. She is a she is it's a, a happy difference in child. her eyes. Yeah. She is so she's more of a girl. You know, she was just real. You know, uh, just defensive and just tomboyish. Yeah. You know, and and um, she's a little lady now. I'm so proud of her. I am too. I am. I'm smelling that pine. Are you? What time? What does the timer say? Likes about six minutes. Yeah, I'm just, I'm smelling the coconut. <laughs> it smells good. Do we have any questions, Linda? No, I haven't seen any. Well, um, 
some it's we've had a few days of, of a little breeze because a few mornings I've been able to sit on the porch and and, and it wasn't cold but it but it wasn't that hot yeah, wavy like, heat and right. it's been nice it's been nice it's uh, it's been a little breeze like you said it's um, uh, the humidity I think has been down even though it's been hot it hasn't felt as hot. It's not the humidity here in East Texas. It's nothing like it is in Southeast Texas around Houston and Beaumont, I don't know what I live down Houston, uh, Angleton. That's, I mean, that is so muggy that it, it'll take your breath away when you walk outside. But it's, it does get hot in East Texas and it does get humid. Uh, so we, we look so forward to the fall every year. And I'm it's been excited. Hard. Aren't you excited about the fall? Oh, I absolutely. I mean, I'm already thinking about Christmas. <laughs> Over the weekend when I was going to the flea markets, I had Christmas on my mind. Uh, yes, I am so excited about fall. That I'm, was fun videos y'all did that I day. enjoyed the that. little kids singing. Yeah. I enjoyed that flea market. I just, I've always loved things like that. But I hadn't really been able to do it in a while, like I used to do. Braden and I need to go to garage sales. He loves to go to garage sales. And so when it gets a little cooler, me and him's going to take, take a day off and, and go garage selling because he loves to do that too. He loves yeah, to do that. He does. And, uh, and um, we want to say hi to our aunts this morning. Um, hi, Aunt Laverne, Aunt Faye, and Aunt Lucy, and Aunt Linda Joyce. We have an Aunt Linda yes. Joyce. Yes, we do. And I'm not sure how much she gets to watch her. Do you know I don't know. And Karen has to, I think she has to show. Uh, hook her up when she goes and shows. Okay. I think that's how it is. Uh, but um, yeah, Aunt Laverne and Aunt Faye both uh, watches our videos, and and um, you know it's um, we're just blessed still yeah. now four yeah, of our aunts. We are very, we're very blessed. We are. So, um, and one uncle. <laughs> Aunt yes. Faye says so. Still. so um, and I read on Facebook this morning Uncle Dean's. Um, uh, Sister, Nelly. I guess. Yeah, Nellie. Is that her sister? It must be, or even his sister-in-law. I think it's his sister-in-law. I'm not sure, but I I, I remember Nellie. Remember, I do. Nellie, I do yeah, remember. I do. I remember. She passed away. She has to be pretty pretty far up there. Uh, up the deep. They live, 91. Yeah, they, the Joneses yeah. live. Yeah. Yeah way on up there. Yeah, they, they have a long life. Um, we have a giveaway today, too. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Do we, um, do we want to choose from comments? Choose a winner from comments? Oh, we, we can. We didn't even ask. We didn't we even forgot discuss to discuss it. <laughs> we, uh, we're, uh, when Linda, as soon as Linda gets here, I mean, it's, it's almost like Christmas, Linda. Every time we get together, know, it's I like know. we hadn't seen each other in months. And we just talk and talk and we forget our business. But we're giving away one of these five-inch uh, Santico. Is that how you San, say it? I think it's Santico. I'm not San sure. Santico guys. We got. We give one. We've already given one away. This uh, is this my month. favorite knife. Yeah. It has such a good feel in your hand. I like the size of it. And it's uh, guaranteed for life. Good I'm not going to open it. it. I'm That's a plastic it. sheath. Yeah, yes, you definitely want to keep that out if you keep this in a utensil yes, drawer. Yes. Because if you happen to reach in and get this, it's going to slice right. your finger. Right. Because this is very, very sharp. This was our, the reason that we get, we've given away two gifts every week this month. in the month of July because um, our, it's our anniversary month, two years. It was January the 9th was our first video. July. July did I say, what did I say? July, July I'm sorry. <laughs> and um, for we have a lot of new uh, friends that follow us and watch our videos. We have one cookbook out, and it's recipes from the old home place too. We have Mama's book out, Mama's story of love and hope, and then we have uh, adult aprons, pink and white. They have a few beige left, don't we? We do have some beige left. And yes. we have our kids' aprons are red, and you can find those on our website. Uh, um, under products. Yeah, under products. Um, so if you're interested in those, you can go there and look. And 
Um, I got an email. I never did tell you the other okay. day because all this other stuff has been going on. At least I don't think I did. Okay. Um, from the uh, lady at the Oprah magazine. Oh, no, you didn't tell me. And uh, the article is almost ready. It's going to be coming out in the fall okay. magazine. And we're saying Oprah. That's Oprah like the vegetable. O-K-R-A. It is only available in the southern states, I believe. I think so. But uh, I believe you can order it online. Best Buy has them. Uh, Best Buy has Best them. Best Buy? Best Buy is where I bought mine. Best Buy, the electronics place? Oh, I thought it was Best Is it Buy. Books a Million? Or Maybe it's Books it's a Million. It's next to Best Buy. <laughs> <laughs> there I go in my memory lapse. Okay. Books a Million. Best Buy and Books a Million is side by side in Longview. So it is Books a Million. <laughs> but they carry them. Sorry about that. Um, we were in this, we were featured in this magazine. I believe it was last spring, right? I think it was. I think it was the spring issue of 2021. Well, they contacted us again, and they wanted to feature us again. And um, if y'all see me wincing, <laughs> I'm not trying to frown, but um, I could be shooting seven pains in my neck. And my I nose hope you're not talking seat. too much, Linda. But um, no, I'm okay. But uh, we're going to be in this magazine again in the fall issue, and um, I'm real anxious what to see it? it. She said it was a, a that she wrote a very good article. Okay. And uh, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, it's going it's also going to have mentioned Mama's book in it. Okay. All right. Now, what is the fall issue? What month? I is believe that? it will be the end August. around the end of August, the first of September. Okay. Okay. Let me check the pie. Ding, ding the wood off the timer. So we're excited about that. And, um, I never had baked in this, uh, uh, this pie in this is it container. Ready? Yeah, it's ready. Okay. In this container before, I never had baked. So I didn't know how far up that it would, would fill. That was perfect for that. Yeah. Uh, that well, really I, I probably would, 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 would put a little bit of maybe a fourth the recipe plus the recipe. Make it a little bit. Make it a yeah. little bit come up in if you bake it in this pie in this pan. Uh, you're supposed to let it set five minutes for it to, you know, just kind of get the heat yeah. out of it. And then we'll slice it and show you. So, um, uh, so we need to pick out a winner too. Yeah. Yeah. I'm ready whenever y'all are. Okay. Okay. Uh, who is the winner of our knife? Kathy Connor, C-O-N-O-U-R. Is that a K, uh, Kathy with the C or a K? K. Kathy Connor. Connor, is that? So C-O-N-O-U-R. O-U-R. So we may not be pronouncing it right, right, but congratulations yes. to Kathy. And we need your address, and you need to text it. Don't write it in comment. Text yes. it to this business phone, 903-235-4804. So please text us your and um, wait until address. We get off and air. wait until we get off of air, please. This is the knife that you want right here. This was mine, and it has a sheet with it, so. Uh, all right, um, let me see. Oh, yeah, we he's need a done. Picture. We need a yeah. picture. Um, and then, um, I had it, you know, I, we, we forgot to time it when we first, uh, come on here, Linda, I think you're out of camera. Uh, when we first were in there, so we might have cooked it a tad too long because I guessed at the minutes to time it. Uh, I mean, it looks it good. looks okay. I, I mean, mean, it looks like it's I, firmed up. Right. I don't think it. It's uh, not overcooked. I don't think it's you overcooked. Don't think so? No, I don't. Okay. Maybe some crust. I'm just going to kind of loosen it around the edges a little bit for it to cool. I, I, don't, I don't think it's stuffed, but you know how the edge is, so yeah. stick just a tad. Uh, I can't believe they're discontinuing this, do you? This, I know, they're discontinuing this pie plate. Um, I don't know if they're going to come out with something different or what. But you know what this makes me think of? Molly's 
coconut, coconut custard? Coconut custard, yeah. Um, pie. Coconut yes. custard or coconut pie? No, pot? no, it's not the custard. Um, it just makes me think of that. I don't think. She made coconut pies, and that's all it was, was coconut milk and sugar. So it's similar to it, but she didn't yeah. put, she didn't put, put biscuit. lemon in it. She didn't put yeah. lemon art, and I, I don't normally put lemon in mine, but uh, I'm going uh, to. Are you good about cutting the hat on the right side? No. I'm not that good. You know, we've got those things. You've got one and I, I got know one it. that will score it. I know that, but I don't like it. <laughs> Matter of fact, it's in my grog sale stuff. <laughs> <laughs> you ordered that for you. <laughs> I didn't know where I got that. But do you use it? I have used it, but I haven't used it in a while. It's it's something that I, well, think, I, so I think that it. no, you can <laughs> get it back it I think it's something that restaurants probably use, you know, to cut yeah, pie, yeah. to make sure they're all. Well, the I carried it to the church one time to use it at the church because we do cut a lot yeah. of pies, and I um, didn't like it. Either. Well, no, it was me doing the cutting. Uh, it just didn't go, uh, it seemed like, I don't know if it's the size of the pie plate or what, it just didn't go all the way through. Okay. okay. That's so that good enough. And so I had to still cut it. Okay. So, all right. I'm not going to cut a big piece. And I'm not letting this sit very long, so we'll find out whether or not uh, we should have let it sit a little bit longer. Try my best. And you know what? That's got a point. I'm going to get this little... not want to come out of it is what I'm trying to say. Now, I don't know if it's because it's just hot. Well, I, probably, but it, it And looks, I did cut a small piece. It does look like a custard. It yeah, does it remind does. You of custard. It does. So there it is. You can, smell, you can smell the lemon. Yeah, it smells really Here, good. Here, we're going to see how you like it. With the... I love coconut. Yeah, you want me to turn around where they see it? sister Linda. Thank you so, very much. Uh, so tune in tomorrow. We'll be back at Linda's house tomorrow yes. making um, a good dessert, a good uh, little snack, treat. Snack, little yeah. treat. Yeah. So we'll see you tomorrow at uh, 10 o'clock Central Standard Time. Don't forget to count your blessings. Bye-bye.